the California Attorney General's office, Jerry Brown, is investigating, they say, as many as 30 doctors who have allegedly prescribed medicine to celebrities without, they say, justification. Brown says the investigation is ongoing and they're not sure how many arrests they'll have by the time it's all said and done. The number of doctors suspected of writing prescriptions that can't be medically justified is much higher than previously disclosed. Brown explains how it may have worked. Then they take the doctor's name and they write to a company that prints these official prescription pads for doctors. Once they get that prescription pad in a doctor's name, then they can write a prescription. California Attorney General Jerry Brown talking about an investigation he's spearheading to fight prescription drug abuse. Jerry Brown is doing it and I'm so happy. Something he's been speaking out about since after Anna Nicole's death. You know, but I gotta hand it to him. He's the only one who's actually talking about it. Just because it's in a nice little package, uh, has a name on it and a date, and a doctor's name under it doesn't mean that it can't kill you. He's really been very uh, uh, proactive in talking about all these doctors and the prescription shopping and all that. This is serious stuff. These doctors are worse than the street drug dealers that are dealing heroin because, see, these doctors have sworn an oath to protect us. They're killing us for greed. We have an epidemic of prescription drug abuse. The number of people who are dying from prescription drug overdoses is almost 14,000 people a year, which is very close to the number killed, murdered by handguns. One thing is clear. This is a massive problem, not just in California, but across the nation. Attorney General Brown says because many of these individuals do not have families regularly checking in on them, Dana, he claims that's how Garan was allegedly able to prey on them. People can't defend themselves at the uh, when they're elderly and particularly when they're suffering from Alzheimer's disease. There's no one there uh, but those in charge. And when people abuse that authority, uh, they are going to pay heavily. Several kinds of hairspray now being pulled from store shelves all over California. War on hairspray. Jerry Brown, who's running for governor, says they put too much pollution in the air. Products contain way too much VOC. The only thing I want in my air is a little sunshine. No one was hurt, but State Attorney Gen General Jerry Brown is calling this a case of urban terrorism. State Attorney General, General Jerry Brown, I should say, set up a $200,000 reward in arrest and conviction of anyone related to these attacks. Investigators say it is safe to assume that this is another round of attacks aimed at the department's anti-gang officers. He called these attacks urban terrorism. They certainly hope they catch these people before they strike again.